Howdy guys, this is going to technically be episode 3, um, sorry for not updating y'all on a bunch of stuff, we've had some uh, recording issues and um, more problems, but at least it was uh, our fault this time and not the server, so, but uh, today we're just going to do pretty much a tour of everything we've done without you, and just an overall, like, look at the server, so... Would you like to start us off, Nathan? Yep. To start off with, we got this this new building right here that we're standing on. It is a building to cover up a little concrete maker we made. I saw this concrete maker on one of Skippy Six Gaming's um, videos, and then it wasn't going fast as I would have liked it to, and so I came up with this other little contraption over here. And it kind of has some of the same ideas, except for this uses two people to, to mine it. But you you mine it or you get concrete so much faster. Uh, we sat over here and did this yesterday and we got all that in about 45 minutes of sitting there. there uh, and may, if y'all wondering... There may or may not be a tutorial for that later. Uh, if y'all are wondering how uh, we got the beacons, we uh, we helped Drothale and Reef Slayer make a uh, a beacon farm, and, and so we kind of got a little a little help on the beacons. So yep, got a little call of that or a contract payment, if you will. Let's see what else we got to tell them about. We got got the Guardian farm. Go ahead there real quick. Yeah. Yeah, well, first off, the, the iron farm is uh, doing wonders. We've got uh, probably, if not almost 100% sure, we have the most iron on the server right now. So Let's see. There we go. Got nine full stacks of iron blocks and 57, and it's still pumping it out right now. We need to start selling that stuff. Alright, so we've technically been working on this guardian farm since almost the beginning. And uh, it was kind of slow at first. We just started cleaning out the inside. Because um, uh, right now on uh, Bedrock, you don't have to clear out all the water. You just have to put a portal pretty much at every spawn point. Um, you'll see it when we show you. However, but, uh, that may be changing here soon. Yeah, that may be changing. Uh, um, this is the kill chamber right here. It's We're going to be resetting the nether at the end of this month, right? Yeah, whenever the nether update comes out. Yeah. Um, so we didn't make it that fancy. I mean, it, it's about as... like You pretty much have to do all that just for it to work properly. Um, but if we go through here, we'll see the, the portal. So, this is the whole inside cleared out. Like I said, you don't have to clear out all the water, um, but I just like clearing out the inside because then you can kind of make a little, you know, base thing out of it. Um, Thanks for a nice we'll base of here. operations. Yeah. So, like I was saying earlier, the, the way that these farms work is that they have one spot where they spawn. It's like this grid pattern and you can make it to where they just spawn on the top and so they just get in the water and then they flow into the nether portal and then they go into the nether um this really isn't that far away from our base it's like it takes like one rocket to get over there if you if you use rocket it properly you, you can use you can fly <laughs> right <laughs> yeah if you can fly properly um but yeah this is uh, we had one of these on our old uh, Squatch's survival, so we uh, we wanted to put one on here. It was pretty. That was our main source of XP over there. So yeah, it makes it's makes for working. a really good XP farm. Yeah, yeah we could finally be able to take off. 
We've had questionable uh, workability on the server, but I think it's just some kink get out. I mean, it. We've had a like that. We have a couple issues with it with guardians not spawning in their little their little design spaces, but for the most part, it usually works pretty well. We can't so, complain. Uh, it works. <laughs> The one of the biggest changes will probably be at the shopping district if you haven't watched any other uh, players on the server. Let's see, we got some. Got, some, got a couple guardians there. All right, so y'all technically haven't been here in a while. There's quite a few differences. The the road signs weren't even here. Where are they? I don't think so, no. You yeah, got a so visitor behind you. I do, don't I? Um, so yeah. we kind of established some road signs. We're actually um, slowly going over to this sign. Jotho had me come up with a little simple design for it. I'm like, hey, just go with something simple like that. Yeah. Um, oh, so yeah, I guess that one just hasn't been changed. Yeah, some um, of them have been changed yet. So, here is our uh, our donations center for our um, the council Cap town council. capital. Cap yeah, is that is that our official name for it? Capital. So I'm calling it the capital, and it's going to be home of a meeting hall for all the members, a monuments room, so or mementos pretty much and then also what else is it going to be there's going to be a couple of different things we're going to have in here and it's going to span all the way out there to where that scaffolding is laid out it's going to be a pretty big building but this so is a this building is... go for it uh, I'll, say, I'll say this is technically a community build but this is <coughs> Pretty much, uh, our we're, we're technically doing most of the building, and a bunch of people are helping us out with uh, gathering the materials, materials and whatnot. for the the whole server. That's what um, all that concrete was there back at the base. That's all for this. Yeah. So, um, I don't think y'all know this, but whenever the we told y'all we had server problems, um, there were a bunch of things that we had. Like I had the first set of. Uh, full set of uh, diamond armor. I had the first uh, diamond pickaxe, and the we switched servers as the two of us were in the end fighting the dragon. Um, that's because we were fighting him, and then we, it was so bad we had to get off, and we couldn't get back on. It wouldn't even load us in, and so we had to switch servers then. Um, and when we loaded back in. I mean, they well, they had already killed the dragon at that point, um, but we also had died, um, and so it was we lost everything, and somehow Drothel got everything back, and so he has like our first set of diamond armor, first diamond pickaxe, um, just a bunch of little other things that he has. And that was kind of like the the first thing that drove us to wanting to build some sort of like center, you know, air area for place. the server. Yeah. Um, and Nathan had this, you know, like capital, you know, big building idea that he'd been working on just in a random test world. And so we just, we, he was like, yeah, this, this would be good for this. Yeah. Jotho mentioned something to me about wanting to build something like that. And I was like, dude, I have the, be I have the perfect building idea of something I've been working on and I showed it to him and he liked it and we were he's like let's go for it I'm like all right I'm laying her down so uh, our our LNL mall did this ever make it into a video uh, I think so if it didn't uh, then yeah well then kind of see it we started selling uh prismarine and some other stuff 
Since yeah, we, we got, got some farms up. Yeah, we got the prismarine, sea lanterns, dark prismarine, prismarine brick. We have. Uh, we could probably take the fish out. Yeah, I'm. I'm wondering what we could put. I mean, or we could kind of. I'm have to just leave it here, and it'd be like complimentary because it's kind of right as you walk in. Um, <laughs> Possibly. You know, it doesn't really cost anything, anyways. Um, and then we went in busting. Uh, with Drothel, um, and so we got a bunch of shulker boxes, two diamonds for shulker, that's a pretty good price. Shulker boxes um, and then back our, here, best, our biggest sale. Yeah, back here is a, is a secret for now. This will definitely make it into a video, uh, but uh, you can, y'all take y'all's guesses on uh, what's what's going to happen back there. Um, <laughs> it has to do with uh, a big area underneath too. Huh. I forget sheep can eat grass underneath carpet. Yeah. Come to find out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so the server's been doing good. It's, uh, it's definitely fun. Um, luckily we haven't had any really bad problems like we did at the start. Occasionally, we have to ask Strothel to reset or restart the server, but... Usually it's not that big a deal. It's pretty easy to do, and it only takes a second or two. Yeah, he's pretty pretty responsive. I'm really having some flying issues today. I think that's just you. You had that problem at the water maybe. <laughs> Who knows? What do we want to go look at some uh, bases? We go show reef base. Since yeah, it doesn't so... make any videos anyway. Yeah, it's not like we're going to spoil anything from his place. So, yeah. our good buddy Reef, who's on here. Oh, I guess you can say good buddy. He's been our buddy since the server started. He, uh, I've helped him quite a bit with a lot of villager stuff. With making different... Oh, uh, he attempted to do a an iron farm, but it was too close to his, um... Oh, carrot farms and whatnot, and so he had to rip it out, and I'm not sure where he's gonna put that if he's gonna put it anywhere. And then, but his place, his place looks amazing. He's making some sort of like Aztec temple type thing, and it is it's real pretty. So when you spawn in here, yeah, you're a little high. <laughs> I can't wait to see this finished. This one, the, his base is gonna look really cool. Yeah, this is a pretty neat view. So, fun fact. I helped him. We'll go, we'll go in the ground here. I helped him with two of these carrot farms. And getting villagers in them. He and I stayed up real late one night getting this thing full of villagers. And needed five villagers in it. And it was working pretty good. We stayed up real late working on this one and then he had to go and then he just asked. That's another reason why I got another beacon from him. But uh, then he asked if I'd help or if I'd go ahead and do the other one for him. I was like, yeah, sure. So there's another one over there that we put a bunch of villagers in and then for whatever reason I think they stopped working the villagers stopped working or something I can't remember exactly oh yeah and there's a, a stuck bee in the half slab bees have problems with half slabs right now where is it? right there hi Mr. Bee <laughs> yeah So he took all those villagers out and he built this up here. And I think it's working out much better for him. Yeah, I just looked at his storage. He's got a bunch of carrots in there. I think that's where all the bees are supposed to be. Yeah, they are. Oh yeah, and I ain't even gonna touch his iron door because um, villagers are weird with iron doors right now. If they can catch it open, they'll act like it's a normal door and they'll just go in and out like crazy. It's really weird. 
Yeah, they saw that on our on our last saw one. On the last episode, yeah. We need to send that to Silent. And be like, dude, watch these villagers. Yeah. So the uh, there we go. Show them the the beacon farm, beacon factory. If I can take it off. This is the the beacon factory. If you don't know how these work, it's pretty much you spawn the those guys in the the snow, and then they uh. When they go through the nether, they drop wither skulls for some reason. And it's every yeah, single it's time. A, it's yeah, not it's, like it's a really F and or, it's all the time. Um, oh, there's a couple there. <laughs> well, it's technically, it's not all the time, but what you do is you just keep the, you bring the, um, charged creepers in. Oh, right. You blow them up with a bunch of charged creepers and then... But, yeah, they dropped the, some, for whatever reason, they dropped the Wither Skulls every time. Yeah. You know, uh, why are these guys spawning on glass? It's because, you know, it's it's a, a new new and approved spawning mechanic of Bedrock. No, it is. Kind of like how they yeah, spawn on leaves, too. Yeah. I don't know if that's still a problem, but yeah. No, it is. If you go to the shopping district, you'll see creepers in the trees. That's right. But yeah, yeah, that's that. That's pretty handy. Um, but I mean, that's, uh, that's pretty much it on the server so far. I mean, I'd say it's been... It's been going quite a bit. It's just there's not a there's not a ton of us on, um, and yeah, we don't want to, you know, spoil some of the stuff that maybe at the other guys' bases. So Reed doesn't he doesn't make any content, so he, we can't spoil anything here. But and I'm sure he wouldn't mind us making fun of him on his videos. Yeah. <laughs> He'd probably get a kick out of it anyway. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for now. Um, we will try and start get back on, you know, normal videos. Um, our video problems should be over with. Should um, be. As long as both and, of us and, can uh, stay healthy. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's the last thing that could uh, go wrong to keep videos from going out. Um, yeah, that's the sad thing. Last weekend, I sat down to get a video going and all this, and then... I got a nasty sinus infection when it's out for a few days, so that didn't happen, as you could, as you could see. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not a hundred percent myself now, but good enough to make this video. Um, we're gonna try and get a uh, Treasure Wars video out soon too, um, and just show y'all some, you know, get y'all on the server some more. Um, but while you're not watching us, you know, you can always go watch Drawthale, um, and all the other guys. Uh, we'll have links to them, but uh, that's that's all for today. We'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.